Hi guys, let me address something that I think most of you are actually getting wrong. I'm just from the shower. You remember I told you guys when you're just from the shower, you missed. The rationale behind misting is when you have spilled something on the table and you want to wipe it off with a duster, you usually don't go there with a dry duster. You have to soak up that dry duster a little bit with a little bit of water so that it can absorb the spill that you want to wipe. It's the same thing with the skin. You might have gotten to the shower and stayed for a bit longer and the skin has dried. And usually when you are applying anything to the skin, it absorbs wetter when, better when it is a bit damp. That's why even with your acne treatments, like if you're following clinical dermatologists, they will tell you to just pat the skin dry, but up mostly apply your actives for acne when your skin is a little bit damp so that it absorbs it better. So, for example, let me give two scenarios. I used to have a skin problem, but now my skin is balanced. If your skin is balanced, feel free to use a moisturizer of your choice. But at night, because you are applying most of your actives at night, the lighter the moisturizer, the better. So, for example, I just have a face cream here. You can use whatever face cream you want. So, you remember, just to put it into your system, that you apply your moisturizers or any active with the 5-point rule. So, I'll give two scenarios. This is for somebody whose skin is balanced. I used to have skin issues, but now my skin is what? Is balanced. So... Anybody's skin can be balanced, whether you feel dry, oily, whatever. You remember I call them imbalance if you watch my content very well. I just call them imbalances because you usually end up balancing your skin if you follow my regimen. So you see, I've already done my light face cream. Now, word of caution. A regimen like mine is strictly for somebody whose skin is what? balanced if you're still in the process if your skin is not so bad it's not neither acne prone nor dry and you're just in the process of balancing your skin you're doing skin barrier repair your regimen should just be as simple as sharing misting moisturizer sleep but if you've already achieved balance i've already told you guys by the time you're coming across my content, you are probably not really taking care of your skin very well. So that's why content starts from skin barrier repair. That's why I tell you guys, no matter where you meet my content, you have to start from the point that says skin barrier repair. So now, the process of skin barrier repair, ideally, any new addition that you're doing to your skin you should do it for eight weeks continuously why because it takes eight weeks for your skin to actually resurface because you actually get fresher layers every passing eight weeks so you usually want to work on the layer that's on top when you start your skin regimen and then you unearth a healthier layer you start working on it another healthier layer so you usually will have to do your repair in stages. I only do repair for women, like let's say for as long as two weeks under guidance if I want to start them on an active because I advise them to do their moisturizer intense morning and evening and they should also have a gentle cleanser. There's a way I do that. If I want to start you on a really, I know you'll be on a harsh chemical pill like tretinoin, I will usually have told you to do twice a day intense moisturizer with an emollient so that's different please that's why i have tutorials where you can actually counter check these things and you can also reach out to me on my whatsapp when you buy your products it's okay to show me that you've bought your products but also ask me for the steps ask me for the steps because i always share this in my videos you don't put all actives together at once just because you've bought emollient bio oil glycerin uh, tretinoin benzoyl peroxide and you're doing a regimen on your own hyaluronic acid vitamin c you don't start everything together your skin is not ready so 
if you are naive to skincare, because most of you will be naive to skincare, get out of the shower, do your mist, do your moisturizer, go to sleep. Keep doing that for at least eight weeks continuously fast. Okay. Same thing applies for the body. If you've bought the emollient and you are really naive to skincare, you just came across skincare when you came to my content, you shower, apply your bland emollient, but for the body, you can actually add your bio oil or for your body. Okay. You can actually add your bio oil, apply it, go to sleep. So you, you will actually have a separate cream or emollient for your face and a separate one for your body that you mix with with bio oil as an occlusive. Those who are familiar with my content will understand the words that I'm using. That's why I tell you to watch from the beginning so that we are at the same level because I don't like it takes too much time to go back and explain to you what I'm saying and you have already explained it. Now, you keep things simple. So this is what happens. In a person who's been repairing their skin barrier, so they've just been using an emollient at night, using an emollient and sunscreen in the morning for their face, okay? And then for the body, they've just been doing their bio oil. In about eight weeks, your skin is ready for actives. If you've been doing that at least twice a day or at least once a day, preferably twice, your skin is very ready for actives. The other alternative is I did baptism by fire on my face. But you see, I did it with understanding. So if you're planning to do that, do it with understanding. The only actives that you are allowed to start on at least after two weeks of doing intense moisturizer on your face is the benzoyl peroxide and the retinoid. Because you're usually doing that for cosmetic purposes, one for anti-aging, or maybe you have a little bit of mild acne, or you have an even tone and you want to sort that out. So if you start, like let's say, on two weeks of intense moisturizer and gentle cleanser, and you want to give your barrier a, 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 a change, you will have to, number one, assess if you feel that you're applying the retinoid at night and the benzoyl peroxide in the morning and you're tingling, it means your barrier is not yet ready. And the people in my skincare WhatsApp group know that. If your barrier is not yet ready, you take a break. If you've watched my content very well till now, this is not new. You take a break for five days. You intensely moisturize with emollient morning and evening morning and evening then you jump back on the work on you will notice that the tingling sensation will have reduced and you will be able to handle the active ingredients after that that's why it's important to actually if you can take as much time as possible just repairing your barrier minimum if you're naive to skincare should be at least four weeks Four weeks of just doing moisturizer, 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 emollient, emollient, emollient to get your barrier ready. So I was giving the skincare routine of someone who's like repairing the barrier. So I've said you missed, you apply the face uh, emollient, you go sleep. I've said face emollient because you're not adding anything to it as yet. Because your face is not yet balanced. So you're supposed to use a bland emollient. I've said this so many times. Now, if you've reached a point where you're very comfortable with your barrier, and how do you know you're comfortable with your barrier? When you touch your face like this, it feels supple. When you apply even a small amount of an active, it doesn't tingle. That's how you know your barrier is ready. And barrier just means that your moisture balance is now 100 so now somebody who's felt that they're confident about their moisture barrier, so they want to introduce an active. The first active you'll definitely be adding at night, because you see I told you the basics for skincare, a gentle cleanser, wholesome moisturizer. Wholesome moisturizer is something you get to with time, okay? You start adding your glycerins, your bio oils with time, but first you're supposed to use a bland emollient. I've said that so many times. Wholesome moisturizer, sunscreen, chemical pill. So the first active you're going to be starting on is a chemical pill. Now, this is how you do it. So, like me, I started on a tretinoin. Because tretinoin is my favorite. Superficial over-the-counter pill. I'm all about affordability, so I don't do expensive things. 
and I do the most effective things. So you remember, peace is amount. So you've already felt that you have repaired your barrier. You still go through the same process. You missed, you apply a light face cream. Or you apply, if, if you have mild acne, and the reason why you're starting the actives for you is to control the acne. Now, if you apply the light face emollient or cream, if you're somebody like me who doesn't have acne, but you just want your skin to look a bit better. But now if you're acne prone, you're going to mist yourself and apply an oil-free moisturizer because when you're acne prone, the way you want that active ingredient to work on your face is different from the person who's not acne prone. You want it to hit your face as much as possible. The person who's not acne prone is okay with it not hitting so much. Because for them, the cumulative addition of using every day, every day is what will give them the effect they want. But with acne, most times, you're really looking into your face clearing as soon as possible. And oil does not work well with those actives, the retinoids and benzoyl peroxide. That's why you use an oil-free moisturizer. But I've already shown you how you can moisturize in acne. You can even use a soap substitute so that when you get out, you're just using the oil-free moisturizer. This kind of regimen is also what you use for post-acne care. See, because post-acne care, you will actually start like somebody who just has a face like ours, but you're trying to maintain. So this is also like post-acne care. So you will use the oil-free moisturizer, but the rest of us just use a face emollient. So after you do that, you take your Tretinoin is the important one. The retinoid is the important one. Most times your clinical dermatologist will have released you on a, on a retinoid of some sort. And if they haven't released you on a retinoid of some sort, it means that you've not actually yet been discharged from acne care. You've not finished. Because retinoids are the mainstay. Using retinoids every day or at least twice a week or twice a week is the mainstay of keeping acne away. No matter the grade of acne. Even if you are started on isotretinoin, you will be released on a retinoid most likely and if you're not you talk to me outside but we see what to do or you will be released on a chemical pill of some sort because chemical pills are the mainstay of treating acne and specific the specific chemical pill is retinoids as fast trace now you take your tretinoin five point rule like for me because i have a history of acne i do not do the tretinoin just on its own most times i usually will do a tretinoin a retinoid sandwich so Five point rule, and I'm specifically applying under my eyes because you know I'm working on my under eye. So, you remember to also do your decolletage. So, as I said, I always do a sandwich because my history of eczema does not allow me to just apply this like that but when you're treating acne as much as possible that's why i told you guys to use the soap substitute before you shower you apply that retinoid on its own because you will already have taken the considerations in for moisture balance you won't understand this content if you you've not watched the previous content on igtv so this is for people who are really following me really well so you see i've finished my retinoid so after I do my retinoid, specifically, this is only for people who have reached an advanced form of barrier repair. If your barrier is not yet good, if you've just started on a retinoid, you apply that retinoid for eight weeks first before you add any other active. Nisikute, you've started tretinoin, like some people, or adapalin. Or whatever else you know it and then you're also adding vitamin c you're also adding niacinamide if you add an active to your face you use it first for eight weeks continuously only after eight weeks continuously do you add anything else okay if you started an aha bha pha you use that eight weeks continuously only after eight weeks do you add anything else please i'm not going to repeat this again if you do anything on your own that is beyond what i have taught that's your problem so now this is for people with advanced okay like even me i've taken my skin really really slowly so i'm just showing you like the routine of a woman who has already reached like 
great barrier repair she's already comfortable with adding actives if your barrier you see the barrier is the determinant because if your barrier is good and that's why i tell your time just i take you i tell you just take your time to repair the barrier because then after you repair the barrier adding actives becomes easier because you just add them add them add them <coughs> but most of you don't have patience to repair the barrier you don't do twice a day moisturizing you don't use soap substitutes you don't use the emollients very well so for you i want you you don't use gentle cleansers i want you to go very slow but for somebody who's already been experienced this is vitamin c vitamin c ideally should be introduced to the face with a humectant because it dries and it will offer even more dryness to the retinoid that already works by drying why this, do these products dry they usually are trying to balance the face and strip off the dead skin cells that you have so that you have a fresh appearance that's why they will dry so that that dead skin cell falls off but then the dead skin cell does not fall off if your face does not have moisture balance so vitamin c i have never used vitamin c in my life because i knew by the time i'm adding it to my body i'm supposed to add it with a humectant so your humectant can be hyaluronic acid rose water glycerin but you have to use a lot of it if you cannot afford hyaluronic acid because hyaluronic acid pure concentrate is quite expensive in kenya so depending on the type you use because like there's one like they're really like luxury brands that linton's pharmacy sells and those ones go from like 16k to 20k but then like from skin essentials and bandari beauty you can find much cheaper versions of hyaluronic acid i'm not too sure whether they show the concentrate on the package but it's enough to start on if you just want to get a feel of what that is but i usually recommend buy especially with hyaluronic acid just buy the right thing if 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 you're spending money that much because i'm all about affordability you can get a feel of it but only get the feel of it by buying it maybe if it doesn't have a concentration of the pack as you aim to buy something that is at least between um two there's a concentration of hyaluronic acid that i've given in my previous ep um, episodes they will literally escape my mind because there are a bit many but you will know, I've already recommended, I have a video on hyaluronic acid. You will know whether you're buying the right hyaluronic acid because I've already taught you guys how to do it. So the brand is the, what, that is the one that can be expensive. It depends on the brand. So you see, vitamin C should never be introduced to the skin if you are not introducing it with the humectant. It dries. So like my vitamin C is a 20% vitamin C. So I put, because I know I'm supposed to use it with a humectant, for me, I will just put the hyaluronic acid with the vitamin C. And then I do my, sorry, my five point. And I'm particular about my under eye. Five point rule. And the rest, decolletage. And whatever remains, your hands. So you see... You see, you see, this is the regimen of a woman who is very advanced. Okay, she's advanced in barrier repair. So even if she applies anything on her skin, it's not tingling. For you, your barrier repair may last four weeks. It may last two weeks for somebody else. The guideline is if you are applying an active and your barrier is tingling, you are still not ready. Unless you're the kind being treated for acne. If you're being treated for acne, you will have to bear with it. But I've already taught you how to moisturize in acne and get your balance. So the next thing, definitely where you apply a humectant, like hyaluronic acid, you have to mist. Even if you apply glycerin, you have to mist. Now, let me get something. The finishing touch for balanced skin now because i have applied a humectant you remember i told you guys what you 
put on top of the humectant to seal it. So this is eye cream. For me particularly, my eye cream has hyaluronic acid. Why? I've already mentioned to you guys, if you want to improve, if you have an even tone, dark under eyes is something I'll talk about separately. If you have an even tone, Watch your eye bags. You know, eye bags are a physical thing. Like me, because of wearing glasses for a long time, I have sagging skin here. But those are things that can be corrected with surgery only. And at least applying tretinoin to stimulate collagen and elastin helps them appear less visible. But if it's dark under eyes, that is your problem. You can only correct any spot of discoloration on African skin through humectant, through adding moisture balance. That's why the first step you do to correcting even your body tone, your face tone is emollient. And those who have been following my content will understand what I mean. I don't need to repeat it. So you see, for me, I've done my eye cream. Eye creams should not be bought unless they have an active ingredient. Otherwise, you're just buying expensive moisturizer. So because I've applied a humectant, you can use a face oil of your choice. I've told you guys, if your skin is balanced, leave those guys you're seeing on social media, Kenyan social media telling you that at the, there are things called comedogenic and comedogenic. If you've watched my content, I've already told you, if your skin is balanced, it does not matter whether whatever you're applying is coconut oil or whatever comedogenic and comedogenic, it does not matter. Your face is already balanced. It only matters for those people whose faces are imbalanced because anything that they apply can irritate. So you can actually note those things. But at the point where you're balanced, hun, apply what you can afford. So, because I've applied a humectant, I lightly dip. You don't have to do, like, your face does not have to be oily. This, this particular face of applying, an, you see, when you're actively treating acne, I, another thing I tell you guys, this is not your regimen. When the doctor is treating your acne, what do they tell you? They even tell you not to moisturize because they know you're going to overdo stuff. But I've already told you, with acne, you need to moisturize in a certain way or your acne will not heal well. You're not supposed to be adding hyaluronic vitamin C or anything. You're just supposed to be taking care of your moisture balance. For that time when your doctor is treating your acne, you do not add any actives. So, of course, this part will not be for you. So, you won't find yourself using some bio oil to seal in your humectant so for you post acne care your care is going to end up <clears throat> at the moisture moisturizer the retinoid and you're done and a mist and you sleep so this should be please please my i'm um, i'm insisting again do not add actives if your moisture balance if your skin barrier is not there yet even if you talk to me and tell me doc i saw that you use an emollient adapalene clindamycin or tretinoin clindamycin and benzoyl peroxide i've bought all of them there is a step-by-step -step process of applying these actives and i've mentioned it you just don't start you don't buy that you're naive to skincare then you've bought hyaluronic acid vitamin c as in you don't just start applying things like that. Niacinamide, phenol peel, AHA, tretinoin. You, when you're creating your skincare routine, you start with the four basics. You use them for eight weeks, ideally. Only after the eight weeks, even the women who I have held their hands Pole Pole in the skincare WhatsApp group, the interactive one, they will tell you, we do not add any actives until eight weeks of just moisture balance. It's you who is outside, maybe watching my content or maybe following me on daily done with Dr. Norita and you're outside my interactive group who will probably buy everything together and then you just start together, meaning there's something that has missed in your understanding and it's okay. I'm ready to explain again, but it's usually eight weeks fast of moisture balance repair with moisture balance or skin repair barrier repair with gentle cleanser and emollient then after that gentle cleanser and emollient i start you on a retinoid if you're in my group 
After a certain retinoid, we do eight weeks. And in between, if I notice you part, we add benzoyl peroxide. I usually start you on a retinoid and a benzoyl peroxide because I know your skin barrier will take it. Or I start you on, or an AHA, BHA, or PHA and benzoyl peroxide because I know your barrier will take it. After those eight weeks, usually you will have cleared very well. Then we now start on a vitamin C, hyaluronic acid. If I see that you need niacinamide, I add it. But it has to be a step-by-step -step process.